Jackie's taken care of. You should have gotten the cheese. And I blocked him. How many of y'all are familiar with the $3 burger cheese lady? If you don't know, you're about to know. We're going to watch the initial incident. And then we're going to get into everything that has happened since. And the Dadvocate analysis on this entire shit show. Okay, I'm going to take the Branzino. And he said, I'm going to take the burger. And the waitress asked him, okay, how do you like your burger? He said, how he likes his burger. And do you want some cheese on your burger? And he asked, is this going to be extra? And she says, yes, it's $3 extra. And he said, okay, then never mind. Over there and I'm like, what the actual fuck? I'm like, okay, I'm hungry. I'm going to eat my friends, you know, and see what happens. And he's like, oh my God, you have to pay extra for everything these days. And I'm like, yeah, it's New York City. So I got my Bernzino, he got his burger, we were eating. The word of the and day the one is time I was satisfied, I got up and I was like, I'm going to the restroom for a second. And I took my purse and I went to the waitress and I was like, hey, I just want to pay the bill. And I just paid the bill and walked out of the restaurant and I texted him. So I texted him, the check is taken care of, you should have gotten the cheese. And I blocked him. Okay, first of all, if you don't know what Branzino is, it's a pretty pricey fish. Quite expensive at $42 at this restaurant, $49 at this restaurant. So you get the idea. She shows up to this date, a first date off of Hinge, orders the most expensive fucking thing possible. And why do you care what he is eating? So she's essentially saying, well, this $3 that he didn't pay, this is a bad sign that he's gonna he's gonna be cheap and she really posted this so confident thinking like i'm such a strong classy independent woman like i truly do not have to lower my standards like it's new york everything's expensive what were you born under a rock or something she gets tore up in the comments okay we can start taking a quick look i wonder what she's feeling reading these comments i hope she doesn't delete this <laughs> i think that sums up how we all feel this is crazy to me he didn't complain about the branzino he simply didn't feel like paying extra for cheese on his burger she didn't expect these comments burger guy one branzino girl zero i wouldn't pay three dollars for cheese either girl you left over three dollar cheese like, this is restoring my faith in humanity that the comments seem to have collectively, like, turned on her. The girlies, the boys, none of us approve. And thank God. So here's part two. Do you think I don't know that I'm crazy? I'm crazy. But you are taking it to a different level. You really need to take it easy some people going through all of my videos is this the just kidding we're fine that I'm video ugly that i'm a four that i'm a two that i don't deserve love i should die alone i should delete myself i should kill myself oh that's right that's we not okay are the problem. anyway why are you taking this stupid video so seriously i'm having a laugh about it the guy is having a laugh about it oh he is we're talking still and we're gonna go on a second date like he he's, he's he laughed about it he's a psycho like me and we're gonna have fun it's gonna be okay and you're going laughing about my tv yeah i know that i'm broke i'm a fucking student i'm an unpaid intern i'm broke my rent is half of my paycheck i'm that literally i'm broke and yeah i have a huge credit debt <laughs> that's yeah and i'm fun about it i'm broke and it's gonna be okay and I make really bad financial decisions. But when I go out on a date or to a restaurant with a friend, I'm not gonna bitch about money. I'm gonna enjoy myself and I'm gonna deal with the money later. I'm not gonna be like, oh, that's expensive. When you go into a wine bar and they sell a glass of wine for $15, are you gonna bitch and be like, uh, yeah, I can buy a whole bottle of wine for $15.
when you go to a restaurant, you pay extra. You're not gonna pay like you pay in a supermarket. All of you guys going through all of my videos, all of my Instagram photos, commenting me these mean comments. Oh. I hope that it makes you happy and I hope you're gonna find something else to do today. It does make me happy, actually. Your dream came true. It does make me happy. So we've just, <laughs> the way she kept going with not even the single, like, clearest idea that she was digging herself deeper. And she's like, yes, I have no money. Yes, I have mountains of credit debt. Like, yes, I'm about to be evicted from my home. But like, that still doesn't mean that you don't spend $55 on the Branzino. Like, you still have to have fun in your life. And so she's essentially blaming him. She's like, you know how there's this thing where a woman will say to you, hey, babe, I really want a milkshake. And so you say, okay, let's get you a milkshake. And now you're fighting because you said the wrong thing. Because what you were supposed to say was, let's go get us milkshakes. Because when she feels like she is making a bad decision in any way, she needs you to also make that bad decision for her. It's kind of like a, an evolved version of the milkshake debate. It's, she's like, well, if... I'm going to be making really horrible financial decisions. I need my partner to be doing the same. <laughs> I can't be the only one looking unhinged over here, okay? It's got to be both of us so that I can reasonably blame him when I act crazy. It's wild to me how many of these videos I've covered where the girl starts the video or the guy starts the video and is like, yeah, I'm crazy, but that doesn't mean that my actions are my fault. Huh? <laughs> what are these captions, girl? Happy Saturday, $3 cheese, crazy girl, get a life. Will you believe me if I tell you that it actually gets worse? We're about to get to our third stop. So as you can see, she's posing behind an article that says she enraged TikTok after venting about her date or how her date declined to pay for $3 cheese. But the story was fake. You know what it never was? That serious. It was never that serious. Quite frankly, it would never be that serious. Never. So let's go find this article, okay? Now we have to find it. $3 cheese google will take care of the typos for me she's trying to angle it as it was all fake so you guys are crazy for having such a big reaction to this it was totally fake should you expect a date to pay three dollars extra for cheese on their burger the question has become a viral litmus test for unrealistic dating expectations after a recent tiktok video sent the internet into a fuming frenzy over a story that wasn't even real so this goes over what the video looks like these were some of the comments but the story now being circulated all over the internet wasn't actually what happened diamants to sorry diamants date didn't spurn any cheese she said nor did she walk out and block him instead the pair overheard a man at another table ask a waitress about the price of adding cheese to his burger then decline it upon hearing it would cost three dollars the interaction sparked a conversation between the two about what each of them would do in that situation if i'm sitting on a date with a person and i feel he's cheaping out on something that will make his meal more enjoyable he's going to keep cheaping out on the rest of our dates diamant told nbc news it's not about the cheese. It's about going to a restaurant and enjoying a good time with your date. Demet shared that she said that she shared with her date why a negative response to the upcharge would upset her and that her date agreed with her perspective. That discussion, she said, generated the idea for the ensuing TikTok video, which she said her date was on board with from the start. What they didn't expect, however, was for what they thought would be a silly video to blow up into an impassioned discourse on dating expectations. Diamant says all the attention has been a bit overwhelming, especially after reading comments calling her crazy or claiming she'll die alone. You, 
you called yourself crazy. Why is it bad when we do it, but it's not bad when you do it? She tries not to watch the stitches of her video. Still, she said she aims to view the situation through a facetious lens. He thinks it's funny as well, and we've only had one date, so he's not obliged to me in any way, but he's checking in to see that I'm fine, she said, and I try not to take it personally because it didn't really happen. In the days following Demon's TikTok, one creator who implied that he had been Demon's date that night, oh, this was another guy, a guy, like, pretended to be the date, but it wasn't him. So, essentially, what this article reveals, obviously, is that she didn't walk out on the date at all. This all simply happened when she over... What really happened is they're on the date. She probably still ordered the fucking Bronzino, but I bet you he paid for it. <laughs> they overhear another couple, which... How often... Like, what kind of a date is this where instead of you talking to each other and learning about each other... You're eavesdropping on other people's business and judging the fuck out of them. What kind of a date is this? Then you get so triggered by this other couple's conversation about how he doesn't want to pay $3 for cheese. Maybe it wasn't even that big of a deal. Maybe if he's like, honestly, if it's free or not that much, then like I'll add it. But, like, to think so critically, to bring up, like, a whole Socratic seminar on why the stranger did not add cheese to his burger with your date and make that, like, the topic, that would be such a red flag to me. I don't know about you, but if I'm on a date with a person and they're like, oh, my God, can you believe that guy didn't pay $3 extra? Especially because these are all red flags on red flags. It's already like you're getting the most expensive thing on the menu. Like, okay, what? it feels like you're testing me right off the bat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that cheese better have Wi-Fi for $3, quite frankly. Like, <laughs> that, that cheese better be laced with some, some, like, illicit substances or something. So she's eavesdropping on this other conversation, brings up this whole debate with him. She's claiming he agrees. I don't know how genuine this agreement is that she's reading into. The date ends. This is just so funny to me, too. So obviously she did not go home with the guy because she's recording this walking home, unless this was a completely separate day. For all we know... She slurped down the D and begged for date two, and this was filmed two days later. Because you know what happened? Like, you know what this is? Is it's crazy to me that she thinks with her whole chest that this makes her look better. That this look makes her look less crazy. You know those and then the whole train clapped situations where, like, a mother will think of something really smart that her child could have said or like a person imagines a situation where they could have acted really courageously and it didn't actually happen but they've decided they're going to tell the story either online anonymously or even so dare in person on TikTok as if it were true because it's such a good story they can't help but not pretend it happened that's what happened here, was she left that date thinking, like, man, wouldn't I look like such a superhero if I, like, walked out on a date because he wouldn't pay $3 for a burger? Like, girlies need to know that this is the sign. And so she just made up this whole story dragging this dude who probably paid for her frickin' Branzino for n literally no reason other than that she really thought. She really thought that was gonna do something for her. Look at how confident she is! Not me getting an NBC interview for $3 cheese link in bio. Haters pay your cheese tax! This is the problem with people thinking that all attention is good attention. 
It's like when people are like, but did you even see how many views my video got? And it's like, but did you even check the like ratio? Day in my life as a hated person on the internet. <laughs> Reading some hateful comments. This is copium. Hard copium. You can't even buy this coke on the black market. Not even the darkest web has this level. Of is she doxing herself right now? Because look, you rent, so I know you're not looking at pallets. Did you just dox yourself at your job? Girlfriend. And she's really, like, pumping up this victim complex here. She is like, I really don't understand why everyone is wrong but me like it's crazy how everybody except for me is so out of touch like just because i made up an entire story where in the story i was still the crazy person but then it was actually even crazier of me to make up that story and lie about it to begin with like i don't understand why anyone's mad at me for that just delete the whole account girl like are you even monetized because you got to have the 10k to even be making... Gar girl, you're not even making money off this. And now this is your whole personality. And now you're just $3 cheese girl. Ooh, it gets spicy. Happy International Women's Weekend. Okay, okay, sorry y'all. We got a little thirst trap there. It's free. Who needs OF? The $3 cheese girlies be giving it out. Wow. Now we know why he agreed with her about the cheese. <laughs> now we know why he's been checking in. You know what's funny? The guy doesn't even have Instagram. He's not on social media. He doesn't have TikTok. He's not on Reddit. And he doesn't even know about this stupid story. And there are a bunch of weirdos going on and saying that they're the guy posting videos about this. So whoever you see posting, saying he's the guy, he got a free burger, cheese, whatever, he's lying. The, the real guy doesn't have social media. Um, yeah. Have a good night. This is such a trope. I swear to God, we are hitting, if we had a narcissist bingo card, we would have every single tile full by now. Notice another one of the tools is the exaggerated language. One person, one dude claimed to be the guy from the date it was a creator named Zakir, makes really funny videos. One dude claimed to be the guy from the date and notice that it's a bunch of guys. It's like she can't tell a single detail in a story without exaggerating the ever living hell out of it. Here's another tool that we have in the Narcissist Handbook and something that we see all the time within the partner shaming series is he's a private guy. He doesn't have social media. These are the kinds of guys that women like this take the most advantage of time and time again is she knew, she already knew these things before she made this video. If he was the kind of guy who said like, oh yeah, I just saw this funny TikTok oh yeah i was checking on my facebook stories anything like that she would never have made this video would have never even thought to do it because she would have known right away that she probably couldn't get away with it but because no one ever expects to blow up in these ways and she clearly didn't think anyone would take issue with what she was doing at all she was expecting nothing but hard constant validation got the complete opposite but she knew knew that he wasn't gonna see it now here's my next question is she's also saying oh but he thinks it's funny he's okay with it well which version is he okay with because has he even really seen the full fallout of this the actual video or is he basing his opinion off of whatever parts you've broken up and fed to him whatever truth you've told him is out there she did say that allegedly he was checking in on her 
But that's another thing is, again, this, there's so... Someone else commented, there's more, more holes in the story than Swiss cheese, which so facts. I mean, it went from, we have a second date planned, to, oh, we have only been on one date, but he is checking in on me. Like, what's going on? Do you guys think that they're actually ever going to go on a second date? Also, what do we think about her, like, saying, like, Oh, he's a psycho like me. This is wild to me that a guy can go on one date with a woman he meets off of Hinge. And the next thing you know, there's NBC News articles about him and an entire video where she's labeling him a psycho. This reminds me of the worst Tinder date lady that I covered on my YouTube channel and made a video about who she's the one who consistently shows up, drinks herself into a coma and ruins things, yet in all of her videos she's like, oh, we both messed up, yet fails to give even a singular account of anything the guy actually did wrong, yet still finds a way to sprinkle and reallocate the blame around. Hey, what can I get for you? Um, I'll take the burger. Would you like it with cheese, no cheese? Um, I'll take it medium with extra cheese. I want more cheese than what you usually get. Extra I want cheese? the cheese and more cheese. I want $12 cheese. $12 cheese? Yeah, okay. is that okay? That would yeah, be disgusting. Okay, what can I get for you? That would be so gross. Please don't tell me, as broke as she is, can't afford anything, goes out to eat with her friends again just to make this video. A video that, again, she's not even monetizing. And no, that wasn't her ordering. That's her with her friend out to eat because I'm sure they're going to, like, drink away her pain. Like, where do you go from here? Where do we go from here? Oh my God.